So I'm currently here in the mess room, which is where people working on the engine have taken their tea uh, since it was opened. I've even got a photo here of, in 1936, the people from Swindon Works coming down to repair the engine, sitting exactly where I'm sitting now. So what I've got in front of me is the logbook of the engine man that kept this place running. And so it was really important that he kept the levels in the canal topped up. So every day he would come down, he'd write the date, He'd go up to the canal and he'd measure how deep the water was. He'd say how fast he was running the machine and for how many hours. So I've got in front of me November 1921. And so I can see here that there was three foot and five and a half inches of water in the canal and that he actually only ran for 14 hours at a speed of 26 pumps a minute, which is below what we'd normally do of 32 pumps a minute and below the 24 hours, and it was probably just because there was a high backwater, and as he ran the machine, he'd get too much water coming through and it would bring up the river level very slightly. And if I turn to, say, some other pages, you get days where you really do have uh, 24 hours of running at 32 pumps a minute, and that would be the 100,000 gallons of water an hour going into the canal. So these records are very much the equivalent of the modern day system that keeps the canal topped up. There is a level sensor up in the canal which does this job of logging how high the canal is and whereas we would have to adjust the water going through the wheel to speed it up or slow it down there's actually a system which from that river level turns on and off the electric pumps.